Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the new episode of Anderland with me, the Anderman, and well, I wasn't planning on actually recording at the moment, um, I thought, oh, I had to, I'll pop out, I'll do a little bit of caving on my own, a bit of quiet time, a bit of a chill time, and I found this, a skeleton spawner, probably the best spawner you can find in the caves out of all dungeons in my opinion, um, basically it's a supply of arrows and more importantly a supply of bones now i'm not actually on my island i left my island i sailed across in fact while i talk i'm going to start so i've, oh, this is what I've found so far so some diamond a few diamonds i made a diamond pick because my iron pick ran out uh, i've got a bit of iron on it some gold and what have you nothing particularly exciting the chest held nothing to uh, shout about that much but what I'm going to do now because I'm, I'm not using the F3 I'm going to make myself a load of ladders because I'm going to well start off with first pillar all the way out of here and then actually, before I do that I'm going to just clear my inventory I'm going to pull it to the surface this is one of the few things I would actually potentially use, make into a mob farm. Out of all the potential mob farms you can make in this game, this will be the one. Now, I don't want to actually put the entrance right um, right key, thank you. I don't want to put my pathway down right into the entrance of it because I have to make some sort of um, killing chamber. So just come away a little bit. But I found a cave with a ravine in it and went to another ravine and I've just been enjoying myself. If you tunnel it up by the way, if you put a torch down on the floor and then when you dig straight up, should you hit gravel at any point and need some cobble to jump up with or sand. A torch will automatically break it up for you so you don't get like so and that's ocean. Ah oh. Okay. My island is somewhere over there, so I'm near the ocean. Let me go back down then. way let me just quick have a look I never check which way that way um there goes my phone what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna dig out and head out just to park this up I'll head back home then get some stuff I'm gonna come back and we'll make I think we'll make a spawner out of this one um a spawner this is a spawner We'll make a farm out of it, uh, try and make some use of it, uh, we can get a XP, not a massive big person for making farms, but I could potentially have it for XP, but more importantly I've got a supply of bones which um, bone mill is a lovely material to build with, I do enjoy using bone mill, use my spade that would help. So I'll do that and I'll catch you all later. Okay guys, welcome back. Okay, I've cleared out in here, installed some lights just to make it easier to enable and disable the spawner. And we have a little hole that goes all the way down to bedrock. And we'll just pop down there. I've got a little switch there so that'll just kill all the lights and then put them back on again. And we've got a spot. Come here you. So when they place the low drop down and this will be blocked up. That feeds so I've got all my wiring. I'm not a particularly big redstone, so somebody will probably tell me I've done it wrong. <laughs> but this comes not that way. Which way do I want to go? I want to go that way. Really? Just block that off for the moment. 
stop confusing myself. I had to bring it back around here again to get it to fit down here. And if you notice, my levels have probably dropped from the last time I recorded. Uh, I have died again. Um, I thought I'll go back to uh, my main island and I'll get my silk touch pick and I had enough experience. I thought I'll just I'll mend them together with um, uh, the efficiency pick. And I went out the out of, out the top here, stood at the top. I thought, looking at an enderman across the water, at another island, thinking, shall I go and get the enderman or not? And I could be kept with me and blew me up. But there we go. Fortunately, that's just one of those things. So, what we're going to do now is just put in down here the killing chamber, feed you into there. I've put the obsidian is just blocked off. One, two, three, four, five. I have an extended one here because what I tend to do sometimes I'll, I'll just leave it alone uh, just to sit there and just fill it with skeletons while I may go and sit in the lounge and watch watch and tell my wife something like that and then I might pop back in here occasionally and just come in here and just kill away uh, so I've got some half slabs down here now I've not got enough with me of that nope didn't bring a workbench down with me, so I did. I'm just gonna make a little killing chamber down here for the skeletons. Get this up and running. The most important thing for me right now for this is to get some bones. That's that's the main thing I want. I want a, 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 a constant supply of bones in here. I will eventually at some point get a dog down here. Um, actually, if I take you up there. I put you. No, not that. I don't want to put you there. I'll put you in there. That's better. Um. I'm not usually a big spawner user, although saying that, you know, I will. Make use of them. I think I'm just going to put not that. Okay, it's not what I wanted to put there, but that's what is there now, right? Get a stone out there. I want to just take you back and put you in there. Thank you. Um, all right, you're safe. Let's put a light up here. In fact, what I'll do, I'm just going to just try and tie up a little bit. I know certain things will be, oops, there's it, hard to remove, like the obsidian. I had some more stone on me. Should have dropped it on the floor, didn't I, idiot? You can't often see this stuff anyway, but so what I'll do if I put you there. We'll just get rid of this obsidian. Hopefully without killing ourselves. This will just tidy the wall up, make it a little bit more flatter. There's a lot of other mobs around here. There's a, a cabin behind us. That was obsidian loose burning up there. Let's 
make sure that's the right spot. I'll come down into here. Put the keys out, that's right. And then up onto there. I think I'll just leave you open at the bottom there. Can I still get into the chest there? I can. This is no good because I can't get up onto that. I'll just do that then. I can just sit uh, and swing for here. So, I think what I'll do now, I'll go and put the water in. Give this a trial run. How many buckets have I got on me? One. Let's just get another bucket. I'm going to pop over here. Two more. Stone, just uh, now if I do that, if I just take that out now, is that totally dark? Might be. I think the light is coming up from below. Oh, they're shooting each other now. Let's pop down. I need to put a better entrance way in. This is just a temporary thing. And there we go. And there should be a one or two hit kill there. And I can now get a spy, a boat. And now I said, once I get some dogs, put two dogs at each side in minecarts. And then they'll just kill the dogs automatically. I can just stand in, get the XP, and the bones and arrows will fill in themselves so this room needs clearing out and tidying all up and this will give me um, I've got some storage in here some uh, make it look a little bit nicer a better entrance way in as well so I'm gonna crack on with that so I'll uh, see you all in a few minutes okay guys here we are tidied up this room here now that's the exit and entrance what we'll be putting in uh, just be sorting out some of the chests so uh, bones arrows bows and armor um, these uh, my stuff at the moment as is that one uh, I want to clear all that out um, and then I'll probably rearrange these chests a bit more anyway I've got to work out where the entrance goes it was sort of about there so might have to dig up and work something out for that um, I put the granite in because it was looking very grey, to be perfectly honest. Um, was going to put oak, uh, not oak, spruce in, um, but decided against it. Uh, so the granite, polished granite, it does quite, yeah, do, it does look quite nice. Um, it does fit in quite nicely. And I just realised I've been doing all this and I haven't, I've got the wrong texture pack on. Just bear with me. Okay, that's changed up a bit. That's that. So. I just, I've just realised now because I do use the, I don't use this touch pack when I record MHC or I'm on Mindful or when I've been playing with the kids on the snapshots. So I'm going to have to rethink these columns now because these are the dark, these are the um, polished andesite. Uh, it does give a different look and feel actually, as does like the hoppers down there. They're not grey anymore. They're this um, ready colour, but. Um, I've put the uh, thing I call it the best on lamps in just to give some illumination rather than torches. Might swap this out for a different block now. I'm not quite sure what yet. I put a bar of the granite across the top because again that was all grey and it was looking very straightforward and bland. Uh, just need to work now on the entrance on this uh, and then I can say this is done. 
put the polished uh, granite as well at the back there just to give it a little bit of colour around the back. But yeah, it's just straightforward, just come in there, slice away. As you see, I've got some levels up. I want to go sort of pick out, that's what sort I of definitely want to do. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to head out of here. I've got to 39 levels now, so I can do 39, 34 chance. Um, let's do any books at lower levels. But yeah, I'm going to gather my stuff up, uh, head back to the island. Just clear a bit more of this out while I'm waiting for this. I'll just clear this out first. What I'll probably do is clear out what I can, take it with me, um, and then we'll go back to the island and just do a bit of enchant before we finish. So I'll see you all in a minute. Okay guys, we are back here on the island. I've emptied a lot of stuff out from the skelly farm. But now we're back here, I've got a big pile of diamonds and I need to sort out primarily my pickaxes. Got a silk touch here which is on its way out. I've, this diamond pick wasn't enchanted at all. I have another pick somewhere which isn't here. Where's my other pick? That's the unenchanted un one. There we are. And that one there as well. So these are... I'm off to just to use that up anyway, just get it over and done with. So that's on my way of making some decent armour. So those two both need enchanting. I also will at some point need chest plate and legs. So I might as well make a chest plate and a pair of legs. Wrong button. My sword is good, but we can get better ones with things like, um, I think sharpness is a better overall enchantment than smite. And then this is that sweeping edge as well we can include in it. So we'll try and get another sword. We'll see what we can get. So let's chuck some lapis in. I'm breaking three. I assume that's the same for the pants. Pickaxe, efficiency four, working horse pickaxe, they'll be the same. Not back two. I think we'll go with efficiency four on here. I'm breaking three. That's a straightforward standard working pick up pickaxe. That's not bad at all. I'm breaking three. That's fortune two. Efficiency three. Protection three. I got protection three. I'm breaking three. Fire protection, three. we'll get some fire protection on those. And efficiency for on the, and that's not bad. That's not bad for um, a pickaxe. What I would like to do is now get my silk touch. And with you, and you, that's 14. Other way around, it's 14, makes no difference. That's efficiency five, we'll break three silk touch. I call that um, silky and uh, the first. There we go. We have ourselves one decent pickaxe. Pop you in there. But there's one thing before I go. I do want to try and that is furnace to store xp apparently something i forgot all about it's something which came in one of the last update or the update before i think it was last update uh not this building this building and here i've got this furnace array and normally the items go straight out into the chest down below but apparently if i now put that into there and stop this by doing this, the items are partly all stored up in XP has all been stored in the furnace. So I'm led to believe I've maybe totally wrong about this, but let's find out. If I take this out, I should get the XP in theory. Yep, I just got uh, about three dollars experience from that, uh, and the same will apply to that one. So if I just go and take out.
that hopper as well. I get all the experience there. I'll go back up to level 41. Simply because I've had the hoppers on here. Where's the hopper gone? There are two hoppers. Now I just need to try and get back down here. Put the hoppers back into place there. And there. I mean, this wasn't designed as a, an XP file or anything like that, but if the XP is there, I might as well have it. And I might as well use it. So I've now got a little bit more experience points, so I'm also going to use these as well. So I just use that for cooking up kelp. So what have I not got enchanted? I've got a sword here. How much diamonds have I got left? I've got eight diamonds left. Let me put this armor in here because I'll try to get some more diamonds and I'll try and make a better set. I'm still missing a fortune pickaxe. That's one thing I would like. I've got a sword there. Um, I get another spade if I can get unbreaking on it. So we just try. I've got any books in here. I have. I'll get the books out as well. So let's chuck them in there. Fortune 2. Unbreaking. Have I got unbreaking on that sword? I have. And that'll be Fortune 2. What's the books? Smite, Smite 2. I'll take a Smite book. I can always make a smite five sword. There's a fortune one on there. I'll get a break in because it will match that one there and pair those up, which will do quite nicely. Efficiency four, which is not fair, it's not a bad enchantment. That's a smite three. What's a book gonna give me? Nothing particularly excited. We'll go for efficiency four on the pickaxe, just efficiency four. I'm gonna make another pickaxe because we can always combine them up fire aspect and uh, that'll be good for them killing the cows fortune 2 looting 2 uh, I think I'll just get fortune 2 as a starter it will make potentially get me more diamonds anyway and if I get another fortune 2 what's the next book coming up adds I just put a couple of torches up there, what make a difference? Slowly reducing the, the maximum top level here. Feather Falling three, I will take that actually because that will give me if I then get out of here these boots onto the anvil. I put these boots and where's that book gone? Feather four. That'll give me feather falling four, which is absolutely brilliant. Let me just there twelve. That's six. So that's silk torch if it's for and breaking on there. Uh, and then I will just put that on there to make that. So I've got two decent pickaxes there now. When I get a fortune three, I will rename that. That's a good spot shuffle as well. So I'm gonna put you back in there. And the books. Put you in there. And, you know, I'm starting to get a decent set of armor because I think at some point I will like to go and take on the dragon. You can go back in there. So that's my axe. Oh, I've got three levers on me still. One pickaxe. That's my bow. And that's my spade. And a fortune pickaxe. I've also got cave in again to get some more diamonds. And it is night time. But I think we are getting 
fairly decent setup now with tools, which is what I would like going forward because that always makes a big difference if you've got a decent set of tools um especially now i've got fortune well, at least fortune two so any more diamonds i could find oh there's anyone down there so that will help me going forward but ladies and gentlemen that is it will be it for this episode we have got ourselves a skeleton spawner wasn't even planned this episode it just happened i was caving i found it and i decided i'd thought make use of it because well, an ender swipe bones will make a lovely building resource. Bone blocks are absolutely gorgeous. Plus, we've got the bone mill, as much bone mill as we could possibly want, which is great. So, on that note, I'm going to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like, consider subscribing for further notifications, ring the bell, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.